Uh, he raised the, the point of the Sikorsky deal, a $220 million incentive package uh, that was negotiated by the Malloy administration, approved by the legislature overwhelmingly, and uh, Representative Riley was in favor, I believe. Uh, Without them asking for all the additional your, 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 your position on, on, on that deal specifically and on, on the, the state providing incentives to try to keep uh, businesses or relocate them here to Connecticut. I don't think that that has worked. Um, and I don't think that when you look at other states, I mean, one of the things that is, uh, you hear constantly is Connecticut is such a high tax state, that's why companies won't come here. Compare our taxes to Massachusetts, to California. Um, you, we have major uh, states with higher tax rates that are doing substantially better during this whole recession. Um, and without, I think that the, the, that approach to business in the state of Connecticut doesn't work. I think that when you look at something like uh, Connecticut Now, um, Connecticut 500, the goals that those, those groups have for creating jobs, it's not by giving out you know, more of our bonding money to very profitable corporations that should not need any assistance from the state or the federal government. Um, what does, the people that do need assistance, there's a reason why GM moved to Massachusetts. Again, it was because of what Massachusetts GE, is doing. Do you mean? I'm GE, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, it, it's what they're doing. They're developing their own Silicon Valley type hub of technology. It's a technology hub that's very impressive. Um, their venture, their venture clubs that they do up in Boston from MIT, um, it gets a lot of people involved. So you, you're looking at a different approach to how do you develop good jobs in your state. The states that are doing well are those that are actually taking innovation and really promoting it, doing everything they can to encourage new entrepreneurs, not old billionaires. All right, I'm gonna, I, I wanna hear from Representative Riley, it sounds like uh, both your uh, opponents uh, disagreed with that, that incentive deal, if I heard correctly, and, and sort of with the concept in general. You voted in favor, what, what, what was your argument? Why did you do so? It's not an argument. Uh, I would say the reason I did it is to save jobs in the state of Connecticut. These two individuals speak about saving jobs, creating jobs, and this will create or save close to eight thousand, or cl save close to six thousand, create another two thousand jobs. The supply chain chain alone for this program will provide three hundred and fifty million dollars a year in the state of Connecticut. These are astronomical numbers. And I'll also say that the state of Connecticut to play in the big boy game, the big person game of national politics, uh, national uh, business relations, you have to do these things. The state of Washington gave out billions and billions of dollars. The state of California gives out billions and billions of dollars to these individuals, corporations, so that they will stay and create jobs in their states. The state of Massachusetts did it to us. It's a game that you must be involved in and you must play in to be able to continue to grow the economy and grow the jobs that, and save the jobs that you have in the state of Connecticut. Um, it was a no-brainer. It doesn't affect our area, but I was glad to support it for those that live in the other part of the state and one of the things that you need to do when you're in the legislature is be able to support other initiatives that may not help your town or your district so that maybe down the road when you have an individual uh, specific job program or a health program or whatever it may be that those individuals that you help support in the General Assembly for their position and their jobs they'll do the same for you so it's ability to communicate and work between both what you believe in and how you believe in and what you need to do to make sure things happen correctly in the state it's a it's a large large, large program that will save a lot of jobs and create and keep a lot of small businesses in uh, in business. Um, uh, I want to give Mr. Dembski one, one last chance on this one uh, to, to react to your uh, uh, representative's yeah, so comment that you would have let those jobs walk out of the state. Uh, right. Well, first, <laughs> so first of all, I'm not one for the uh, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, uh, politics as usual uh, uh, thing that frankly 
most of the electorate is is fed up with. I mean, that's why you see uh, you know a, a candidate like a candidate like Donald Trump uh, you know be given re- given rise to because people are people are fed up with uh, with those types of arrangements. And uh, one thing that I would caution about uh, is setting up a moral hazard of uh, you know as as Ms. Hong said uh, you know this this deal was given without them asking. Uh, how long is it before companies learn that they can ask and probably get these types of deals? Now, now we are square in the middle of exactly what I was talking about earlier, which is the state government picking winners and losers and deciding who they're going to give a package to and who they're not. And by the way, we don't have the money to be doling these packages out to people. Uh, you can say that it's, you know, we're giving out $220 million uh, as, a, as a package, and it's going to bring in $300 million. What if it doesn't? You know, um, that, that remains to be seen. And uh, I, I think that in that deal, you know, is it a net loss? Probably not. You know, it, prob- it, it, it probably is a net gain, but there's a long-term <laughs> effect of, of, of looking to, to grant deals like that. I, I think that we are much better served. There is another way, which once again is control spending, reduce taxes, reduce regulations, create an environment that's conducive to business, all business, staying here, employing people, and expanding the economy the way that other states do. You know, you look at Texas, Wisconsin, North Carolina, I mean, there are plenty of states where, where they're adding jobs in an economy that nationwide is not good. Uh, so why don't we look to those states and, and try to mirror what they're doing? If a deal like that is good for Sikorsky, why is it not good in a, in a uh, broader sense for all business? All right. Very good. Uh, with that, uh, believe it or not, our hour is, uh, is just about up, but uh, we will move to... We don't get the extra half hour time? Uh, what's that extra half hour time? For the third candidate. <laughs> no, afraid not. Uh, people only have an hour for their lunch break, so uh, <laughs> we're going to. Um, but we will, we will be having more debate, so. Uh, we're going to go to uh, final statements. Everyone gets a minute. Uh, we'll try to hold you to that, so uh, be forewarned. And uh, we'll start with Ms. Hung. Uh, 